Hi, Martin here. In this video today I show you a drawing I did in a special way. I was uh, going by car and uh, I was the, not the driver of course, and I was drawing so about uh, five hours for this um, line work. And then back in studio I colored it in three uh, different ways and this is what you will see in this video. I'm spending four weeks here in Poland and uh, going around by car. And uh, this time uh, our great car was driving so I could draw while going by car. Of course it was a little bit shaky but this, this is a little uh, challenge. And I did this for around five hours, an ink drawing, a cityscape from fantasy. And uh, now we go in the studio and I will divide this drawing in three parts. Uh, and doing one uh, with uh, watercolor but only black and white. One coloring, uh, very precise or mostly precise, and a very loose, a very fast part. So three parts in one picture, and where you see the the blue tape, um, there will be something special in the end. Okay, so let's start. Okay, now we are back in studio, and I prepared the three parts of uh, this um, drawing. And now we start on the left side uh, with uh, the black and white coloring. And I use a lamp black or also you can use Mars black. These are my mostly used uh, blacks in watercolor. And, and this time I started with the, the dome. So on the left there will be the darker areas on, and on the right side we will have the the side where the light comes from. So I would suggest to speed up this process uh, now and play some nice music. some uh, shadows so that we get a nice and high contrast from the dark areas and the more lighter ones and in the end a little bit of a ground and immediately we now are coloring the second part and to be honest I colored uh, both parts a little bit in the same way uh, I think this should be the more precise one, but honestly, I'm not sure we will see it in the end. And what you see here, I'm using a travel brush, so they are very handy and a very precise uh, tip. Okay, great. Now here you will see that this uh, third part I did in a very loose way, so the the colors are bleeding a little bit uh, one into another, and there are these dark uh, arrows melting in the red shadows, and so this is a more loose part, uh, a wilder one. Now 
adding the background at the second part as well. This is a mixture of indigo and a little bit of black. And of course we do the same with the first part here. I only use black because this is the black and white part. Let's remove the tape finally and under the tape we have uh, the comparison to the only line work with this black and waterproof ink of course. And here we go, the final picture. It was quite exciting to try this for one time and well, I like it. So see you next time, bye.